The United Aircraft Corporation, UAC, has delivered a batch of new Su-57 and Su-35S aircraft to the Russian Aerospace Forces. These aircraft, part of Russia's ongoing defense modernization efforts, were accepted by the technical staff after completing a full cycle of factory tests. Pilots from the Russian Ministry of Defense tested the fighters in various operating modes before they flew to their designated airfield, Rostec said in an official release. The aircraft handed over to the troops exhibit exceptional flight technical characteristics, highly praised by our pilots. Additional batches of Su-57s are at various stages of readiness. The Su-35S aircraft are also on high alert, stated Vladimir Artyakov, the first deputy general director of Rostec. The Russian Air Force continues to bolster its fleet with a growing number of fifth-generation fighters each year. Currently, the Su-57 stands as the most sophisticated frontline aircraft in Russia, according to the head of the United Aircraft Corporation, UAC. As of 2024, estimates indicate that the Russian Air Force has received between 14 and 22 Su-57s. The first production model was delivered at the end of 2020, with deliveries continuing since. Reports indicate that Russia has been increasing production. However, challenges like sanctions and supply chain issues complicate clarity on the exact numbers. Analysts generally estimate that around 10 to 15 Su-57s have been delivered annually over the last few years, with an accelerated pace observed in 2023 and 2024. Russia has an ambitious order for 76 Su-57 fighters, aiming to meet this target by 2028 with a yearly delivery of around 16 jets starting in 2024. Although Russia doesn't officially disclose exact delivery figures, independent analysts and satellite images occasionally offer insights into the number of aircraft stationed at various locations. Based on these sources, it's reasonable to estimate that by the end of 2024, Russia will have about 20 to 25 Su-57s in service. Russia is actively working to expand and modernize production facilities for its Su-57 stealth fighters to boost output. The United Aircraft Corporation, UAC, which manages the Su-57 program, has opened new production facilities at the Komsomolska on Amur Aviation Plant, Kane AAZ. Among these are a state-of-the-art fuel system development center and a specialized testing hangar for onboard electronics. These innovations are intended to streamline and hasten the serial production process. The initiatives form part of an extensive, multi-year investment program, greatly backed by state and corporate funds, aimed at fostering a high-tech, large-scale production environment for Russia's cutting-edge aircraft. This expansion is in response to a Russian state contract to deliver 76 Su-57 fighters to the Russian Aerospace Forces by 2028. To achieve this target, Kane AAZ is undergoing profound reconstruction and modernization, including establishing new facilities for system and equipment testing, along with plans for additional industrial enhancements.